to their picks and bands. Don't forget, folks, we do have one win on the side of Epsilon. They did just come off a win, off of the back of adapting with 11 kills. Fantastic performance. And Giannis banned out by Team Dignitas. So for me, Team Dignitas has got to change things up. Now, the only problem is they had the coveted solo counter pick position last time from red side and they instantly picked their solo laner yeah. giving away all control and potential granted it slightly worked out for them given the fact that they could then pick their hunter to jump out of the odin cage but aside from that it hurt them this time they don't even have that luxury variety really has to be very careful about picking a character that's not going to get counter picked and bologna could be it bologna never i'll never i'll never discount a first pick bologna it's it, great. It's wherever great you put it, whatever the counter may be, it's going to be a great choice. Flex pick doesn't it, lose matchups. Exactly. And Roma Invicta, the Eagles rally, is just too strong, in my opinion. I love the ability. It's great for team fights. Uh, so first pick is going to be great. Top side, Geb and Isis, picked right. out by Epsilon. So again, Weekend, this is you guys picking for them, right? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, we don't play Geb too much, but that Isis pick is so strong. Yeah. She's. I mean, she just has like the best energy in the game right now out of the mid lane. And Yaman yeah. really impressed me with her. Honestly, I don't think Yaman's ISIS play was anything that I'm going to write home to mom about. Sure. But the hottest Aegis of 2015, <laughs> Aegising not only the Kabrakan Sun, but somehow the raw ult as well was pretty nonsense. Paulo and Loki hey. picked on the side of Team Dignitas. Okay, real quick. I challenge you to find three other characters that would be more frustrating to fight than <laughs> those three right there. Okay, that's true, but you <laughs> invade a Loki and you take him out early. That's true. Well, if he builds, if he doesn't build hand. That's true. But then if he doesn't build, if he doesn't build hand, or if he does build hand, then he doesn't get uh, teleport beads. Big rabbit hole. Yeah, we're, we're just, it, it never goes <laughs> back down. It just goes in circles. If he doesn't build hand, then he doesn't build beads. If he doesn't build beads, then he doesn't build hammer. If he doesn't build hammer, well then it doesn't matter right hammer. now. But Thor picked out on the top side. Hammer. You're a DM brand, and I assumed Heavy Hammer was going to come in. No, there at not some a point. Loki. <laughs> unless you play him in support. See, uh, there was an unless. I absolutely <laughs> knew Heavy Hammer would show his ugly head. Third band's out. Athena banned out by the side of Epsilon, and Rom banned out by Team Dignitas. So one more time. Well, they didn't pick a hunter. Let's just ban a hunter. Wow, Neath getting picked up seventh. We didn't talk about the fact that Neath wasn't banned or picked, no. which is very not usual. <laughs> not for this split at all. We can uh, Neath getting picked up seventh. Talk about it. You know. It's strange. I honestly would have thought Dig would have picked it up. It's a really safe ADC. You mm -hmm. throw it on Barnes, and he can throw the ults out without putting himself in a bad spot. Plus, it's he can go mid, and he's a girl. That's <laughs> <laughs> the Apollo pickup is sort of... That's where I expected Team Dignitas to go. Apollo is a character. Yes! Thanatos. This is my up. favorite combo in Split 2, and we never see it. Uh, one of my favorite things in the game. Now, I know we can love Thanatos against Thor. We'll talk about that in a second, but... You cannot Aegis out of CC anymore. Nope. If he ults you in the mid lane, yep. you will die. Bracken. Right, so uh, <laughs> Thanatos versus Thor. Tell us a little bit about why you were picking it and why we don't see it too much anymore. You can silence his spin, which is huge. Obvious. And you can actually fight at level one if you play it correctly, which is kind of, those early fights, Thor is amazing. So right. what beats it? Thanatos actually can out damage it and out sustain it. So Which is very important. He cannot, however, out-sustain it if he has uh, zero ability to heal, which Sir Ket can throw down. And given this comp, she doesn't have a direct target. Who is the support on this team? It's Sir Ket. Oh, uh, no. Other I'm team? Absolutely. I just assumed Raffer was playing Sir Ket support. I forgot <laughs> that Geb was picked up early I on. I was assuming that Raffer was on the bottom and was playing <laughs> Thanatos. Who is the support? Bologna? Yes. If it's Loki, I'm in there. Oh, my goodness. Then the support heavy hammer look... All right, we got 10 <laughs> seconds left until this game starts. It's going to be the longest 10 seconds of my life. It really will be. I'm excited to see. I mean, Thanatos, obviously, in the jungle Poseidon, obviously, in the middle lane. Apollo, most likely, in the hunter role. But we'll take a look right now as we get in, and we have a support below. Bah, that's boring. That was the one that was Yeah, that, that, that's the one that makes sense. Shadow oh. Nightmare, no surprise there. It's starting out with the Soul Stone one more time on the Kabrakin. Or uh, on so, the guy with the Kraken, Poseidon. <laughs> Here's something interesting for, for everyone at home. Uh, Dignitas lost almost every fight previously because yep. they didn't have a frontliner. So to fix that, they picked a team of no frontliners. Well, I mean, I guess it's... If it don't work, keep making it even <laughs> more right. in one direction. All right, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I, I talk good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, Weaken, tell me about 
What's going on here? Actually, I think uh, Epsilon kind of baited a pick here. They picked the Thor, and you're going to assume it's going in the jungle. They picked the Anatos, and you throw out a Cirquet Ooh. and throw the Thor in solo. Like, who would have seen that coming? I don't know, Cyclone? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Thor solo is interesting. We've seen it pretty much only by Ninja Timmy. They should be invading here, though. This is a misplay coming out from Epsilon, given the fact that they know Loki is generally going to be starting with the the charged Morningstar, they should be rusting this down. Also, I have to cite Emilito here for not having something in that first slot because it's really driving me crazy. <laughs> wait, 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 Loki's in the Hunter lane? What is happening? All right, so it looks like Team Dignitas with their, with their, looks like Team Dignitas with their sub barn, they're not married to their lanes. And we have Variety, the traditional soul lane for Team Dignitas, making his way into the long duo lane where Barn will be soloing on this Apollo. Very, very cool stuff coming out from Team, Team Dignitas. And keep in mind, this is where Barn played the last time he had to play at a level. So maybe he's not the high-level hunter player, but he can certainly do his own in the solo lane. Did Adapting get that creep? I missed that. Or did he just get forced away? I, I'm not sure. Can we just hover on that back camp on the right side? Did he actually pick up the middle one? Because I know he was looking for it. No, nope. he did not. All right, stay safe for now. Left side variety, very low here. Guy can't seem to get out of trouble no matter which side of the map he's on. Not quite safe. Purple buff is on him. Yamin also not safe at all. Does Ooh. dodge the big hit from Poseidon. He's going to be zoned out just a little bit, but not enough. He turned Poorly that around. placed Whirlpool. Look at adapting. Oh, my God, this is so greedy. Weekend, is this the play? This, this, is, this is the play. This is the play? He's out oh, of position no, no, here. He's, he's stuck. Oh, no longer. I thought they were going to go in. That was upsetting. It would be extremely risky, but <laughs> it would have been, been nice to see. <laughs> see? See what the casters have to deal with? You could have made the play weekend, but you decided to be boring. That would have been the greatest thing we've ever seen. What I probably would have done. It could have also be been a huge <laughs> misplay. Variety taking a couple of hits. One. That Basic creep stepped away. in front of that second auto Yes, attack. it yeah. did. Emilito played that perfectly, but just slightly off the mark. Variety uh, forced to back here. Barn, uh, nice use of the Mez there. Going to send some damage out. But Ninja Demi locking this down. Does he have the throw? Now, uh, can we check on the Thor here? What's he leveling is always the question. And it's going to be Hammer. Yeah, it's going to be the Hammer for the yes. clear. I love it. One of my favorite moves in the game. I mean, you were talking a little bit about how Thanatos can shut down Thor. So can Apollo. Yeah, he's building it properly. He can get the burst damage off without it being interrupted, and that's going to be huge for him towards this mid-stage of the game when he can actually ult over for mid-camps. Yeah, and as we said, you can silence the Berserker's Barrage. You can also mez the Berserker's Barrage. Right. So intelligent leveling right there coming out with the... You can with technically the mez out the stun as, or the hammer as well just by moving out of the way when he's locked down. Sure. A little bit harder. Yeah, definitely uh, more play-oriented than just push the button. Counter. Hard counter to soft counter, I suppose. Frosty Act, level 5, does have it. And, uh, yeah, this this is probably going to be first blood. It's going to depend on the Whirlpool. He's going to be spotted. Nice silence, catches the Deathbane. Ambush already on cooldown. He should have taken to the skies there. That was a guaranteed kill with the help of Poseidon. But I guess the Isis was safe. just a little bit too threatening. Yeah. Shadow Nightmare... That is very uncharacteristic defense. I'll agree. Shadow Knight are usually one of the more aggressive. I mean, he buys Soulstone every game. <laughs> Maybe that's why he didn't go in. Maybe that extra 100 health would have been the, the ticket for him to, to get on that ride. Well, if he, survived with, if he didn't survive with one basic attack, <laughs> right. his jungler might have been yelling at him, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, so we're looking at Barn versus Thor here. Oh, no way. We're looking. There it is. That's what we've been looking for. That beautiful combo. There's no way out of it without beads. Uh, even with the beads, I don't think she was going to get out. And with that, Frezzo actually getting a kill onto Emilito as well. Normally not the best situation to have uh, a kill taken away from Loki. But oh, lo and behold, it's on <laughs> Bologna. <laughs> yeah, this is a... It's just a kill lane. It's, it's just a this kill is lane. Yeah, it's, it's kill you quickly. That's, this is the, the this is. 2012, like, we could just ult at the same time and kill somebody. Trouble Cobra's Kiss isn't going to be on the mark, but between the Neath ult, these... Boom. Yep, that's just going to be it, folks. Uh, two ultimates down onto Frostyak, and he'll go ahead and suffer the loss. We can level six Thanatos. You're looking at level three Death Scythe. That wasn't getting the kill, was it? No, definitely not. I think once you use, you go all in, they got the kill, that's when you just have to pull back and make sure you're not out of position. You just, it's not worth risking it. You got that lead that you needed. Right. You don't want to risk it. Um, top side, adapting. Going to be taking the speed buff here. Got to utilize this as much as possible. Has a small power play, or at least had a small power play, and has the advantage in the jungle. I would really like to see her move down, make a play for that blue buff. Yeah, that would, it, I would like to see them invading, but at the same time, it's 
It is. You Thanatos. never know how it's gonna go. And both you wanna say one team has a late game over the other, but it does like you have a Thanatos on one side, a Thor solo on the other. You really don't know how this game's gonna play out in the late game. For me, if Dignitas finds a pick, their 5v4 is ridiculous. Epsilon has the better 5v5 overall, thanks to Geb Shield, right? Yeah, Stone Shield by itself changes everything. Oh, but yeah. we should consider that World Weaver is not really a team fight ult. Uh, then again, either, either is across the sky. It's just that one team has a Loki who can just pick someone and go, that person's dead now. <laughs> Especially combined with, with the Thanatos, just a lot of burst on the side of Team Dignitas. Even, I mean, if you build Thanatos right, he doesn't fall off, as the old motif says. Uh, not getting the double tap there. Demi forced out of lane here. And check out Barn. This is the first time I've really seen Barn play his character efficiently. Uh, but the Hand of the God's going to change things. He's taking a lot of damage, but ooh, Epsilon again. They did this, this last time. Surprise, free. Gold Fury. What they do is they realize that they test out wards, and there's nothing there. So they go for it anyway. No way Thor's going to land. And he will. Whoa, Thor lands wait. 2v1. Completely takes out Barn. Absolutely no problem, Frost. He's yeah, fine. Still here. He can fight. How long till Death Scythe? It's up. It oh, will miss. Ho, ho, ho. How long on the mule? There's a two miss. Shadow Nightmare, in fact, in trouble as well. And they're trying for it. Kraken going to go off. Yemen yeah, doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, Frostyak going to get taken down by Demi. Um, what? Frostyak just staying a little bit too long there, it looks like, as we see Emilito being collapsed on. 2v1. One more hit. Will uh, it go to? It does. Rezo gets the hit. Ooh. Will he survive from the tower shot? Got it. He does. With that, um, Dignitas had a huge lead. They were oh, yeah. they were winning kills nonstop. They, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yaman. Yeah, Talk about being collapsed on. Here comes from the left side and the right side. Oh, both an guys. ISIS and his friend. He doesn't have enough. There's no way he's gonna have enough for Vanish. There's just it's just not nope. realistic. Um, Epsilon takes a free goal. Wow, Fury Yaman. finds a whole bunch of kills around the map, mostly thanks to Demi. This all comes down to the fact that and, and Weekend probably knows this. When Gold Fury is up and is relevant, you can't be in solo lane. No, they committed a little too hard without the vision they needed. When you're going to make that play on solo lane, you want your support to at least be around to try to steal it, to try to force them off. And it wasn't the case. Not only did they overcommit to the side of the map they shouldn't have been on, but Demi just wasn't having it. <laughs> he bodies the Apollo, turns around, bodies the Thanatos, and, you know, Weekend just talked about it. This should be a counter matchup, but there's one thing we didn't consider. That's a solo lane, mm -hmm. Thor. Solo lane Thor doesn't have to deal with nonsense. Mm -hmm. no. He just throws hammers at people. You're also not starting with Bumbas. You have that extra damage early, and exactly. he's putting it to full use. Right, he right jumps in. right on there. Neath is going to go ahead and backflip, but following will okay. be the Roma and Victor. Neath, about half HP, just standing oh, still. Fuzzy. Very, very, very good target for the enemy to take a look at, but we've got another jump in. Sir Ket is here, and that means Fresno's going to fall. Baited. That's just straight up baited. Yep. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Variety goes in. Ult was good. He's like, shield, no thanks. Right? And then he's like, I can follow up the backflip. She backflips. He's like, yep. Eagles rally. Got it. And then he's like, Cataclysm, here's the shockwave. You're taking damage from creeps. Uh, Frostyak gets a return kill here. Can they find anything out of it? Oh, Ooh. Ninja Demi off the mark. Ninja there. Demi lands the second Thanatos finds himself safely in the air. We'll go ahead and back underneath his own mid lane tower. There, no issue. So two for one around the map is Yannon Falls. That's what I'm looking at, though. The split push. Not necessarily the split push, just a dual lane taking the tower. This stone shield, so smart. Make sure that he can't tank any... Oh, my God. Berserker Barrage really doing work, and all that Thor has online is the Death Toll, the Boots, and the Jotuns. Well, it's not even Jotuns, Heavy Mace. <laughs> the big difference is there was a three-level advantage, and it's not going to get any better. Oh, fancy footwork coming out from Frezzo. Just to avoid the rollout knock, not able to find the Hunter. All right, so I'm going to look to Weaken here. We're going to take another look at the mid lane as we see a Winged Blade coming out. I'm not really sure. I, I've never <laughs> seen Kiki do that. I, I couldn't tell you what the thought process is there. Right there coming out from coming out from Yaman, it, to me, it's about Frosty. He just died to the Thanatos, right? Thanatos is going to land on you and do a lot of damage, but the slow from Death Scythe, if you outlive that initial burst, Thanatos doesn't have a lot to offer, but the slow will allow you to just get basic. Yeah, he's looking to be able to kite and I guess get the extra health. It, it's an interesting item. It's not bad or... Right. I mean, See, I like it. For me, you're gaining 300 health, which compared to the defenses could be very close to the effective health gained by the Breastplate of Valor. You won't gain as much cooldown reduction, mm -hmm. but adding 10% movement speed and slow immunity into the kit yeah. is going to help. And I mean, she does have a decent third hit in her attack chain for that AoE and extra damage, so 
Attack speed's not like the worst stat in the entire world. That's true. She'll gain something out of it. And we actually did see her earn a kill before with that attack speed. Very heavy on the left side of the map. Fredzo's going to get stunned out by Jeez. a long range ultimate. All of his HP is gone, but there doesn't seem to be an aggressor on the side of Epsilon to really seal the deal. Going to get a little bit testy and adapting here. The ultimate is good. Thor lands on the back side. The ultimate should be enough to kill. Fredzo does die to adapting on the front side, though. Shadow Nightmare falls adapting, picks up a second. On the enemy jungler, Frostiac is going to fall with no use of the ultimate. So we can, they're coming around the uh, the side there. You see Raffer get the ultimate off. Um, Frosty trying to jump out of there. As, I'm sorry, not Frosty. Frezzo trying to jump out of there as fast as possible. And then they're grouped up together, and the Kraken doesn't go off. The only thing I saw in my head there was the Kraken. So maybe maybe you have a little bit of analysis on why we didn't see it. I, I honestly expected it to come out too. Yeah. Um, I mean, he used it late when it was a last resort. He had a really good whirlpool on both the uh, Sir right. Jet and I think it was the Geb. Yeah. I think he should have thrown it out there. Maybe he was just questioning it and thought the fight would last a little bit longer than it did. I think that's what it was. I think everybody <laughs> on Team Noon's House expected that fight to last just a little longer. When I'm playing Loki, or when I'm playing against Loki, I'm always trying to spy check, right? And look uh -huh. for those shots to try to pick him off. And when you're playing, it's like, all right, I guessed wrong. But when you're watching it and you can see the Loki in a complete opposite direction, it actually looks like the person is just crazy. <laughs> Left side again, we do have the 2v2, the original 2v2. That's going to be the damage coming out from Variety. That's a big chunk, but here comes Sir Ket. He can't initiate into this. Also, Aegis doing a lot of damage there. If he gets the kill, no! Oh, okay, uh, Cataclysm not going to hit. Variety still the victor right here. Long range Spirit Cabal going to be dodged out by the invisible Loki. Now Isis, a little bit aggressive. Shadow Nightmare is here as well. Both mid laners are here, but that's the end of the fight. Shadow Nightmare is going to go ahead back to base. Uh, Variety needs to heal up as fast as possible. Frezzy as well. Frezzy going to be in some trouble. Adapting going right in. Gets the big auto attack and sending him away. I don't think Yaman has the movement speed. Spirit Ball? No, not going to hit. A couple more basics would have sold the deal, sealed the deal, but eh, just not looking to be that aggressive and barn so this is a great this is a great choice to put barn on for team digging sauce as the apollo he can stay in lane and split push not really join too many fights if he doesn't want to that's going to be a good part of it and there's the maze of the berserkers garage that we were talking about but he so, has no follow-up exactly mean, he's not going to get much here right. realistically he's not looking for the kill though dimmy didn't want to stick around he wanted to make sure his tower didn't go down for a little bit longer uh -huh. lock apollo to the lane to make sure he gets it on the next wave get a little bit of experience go back spend money and get back to lane he did that perfectly that's exactly what he wanted to do, and as we said, you know, Barn really sticking it out. When was the last time you guys you guys played with Zapman yeah. instead of Allied? So I, I guess that's a little Who's bit better? of a different situation. Allied's better. Come on. <laughs> but so I mean, that, that what's the do you sort Which of? One's Allied. <laughs> hold that thought. We've got aggression from Frost. Yeah, he's gonna land on Raffer, not for the execute, but for the damage and the stun. Shadow Nightwear will make sure that Raffer falls to the wayside. Okay, so three ults used for the support when the Gulf Fury's up. Good idea. But they've got to rush it down. They don't have time to be messing with these mid camps. Neath ult is going to freeze Frezzo in place just long enough for the damage to come out from Isis, and Neath will get the final hit. I mean, that comes down to the fact that they were he was protecting mid camps. Yeah. He gave his life away for basically nothing. All in all, that winds up not really being a win on either side. Almost all ults are down. Uh, Apollos is up here, but he's going back to the base. Also, look at this experience per minute chart. Check the... There is anyone is. gonna contest this? <laughs> Epsilon I still have ADD right now. <laughs> Epsilon again with the secret gold fury. This is gonna be three and two matches, folks. Uh, we're just no response from Team Dignitas. Real quick, uh, you labeled it as the secret gold fury. Weekend, should that have been a secret? No, I, I no. honestly think they did know about it. Frez Frezza was dead, and there's really nothing. There's just nothing you can do. do. Yeah. This Wow. Nothing you can do about that death either. Shadow Nightmare caught out just a little bit. Don't know if you can say caught out if it's in his own jungle. Frostiac forced to run away as well. And still sticking around, but here comes Bologna. Is it enough? Jumps over the Spirit Ball. That will be good. Coming in from the right side is Barn. He's got the basics online. He's level 13. In the back line, adapting, trying to find a way in. Raffer gets a pretty dreamy Cataclysm there with four people in the air looking for the Execute. He should have it here. And yeah, we'll get it. Right side, we're going to see him go to the sky. They're going to trade out here. Ooh. This could be big. Beautiful no. defensive stun coming out from Ninja Dimmy right there. Maybe not be able to get the kill. We'll talk about that in a second. Ooh. Very, very low is Frostiac. He'll be forced out. Frezzo is forced in. But Ninja Dimmy wasn't looking for the kills right there. He stunned the three so his jungler could get away. Great defensive movement from the solo Ooh. laner. And Emilito from across <laughs> the map gets Frostiac. That age is... You could tell that when the Jopping <laughs> jumped over the wall, he was like, I'm going to bait him so hard. <laughs>
Because, I mean, no one could really... I mean, despite the fact that we play this game all the time, no one would have expected that World Weaver to get the kill. No, definitely not. He thought he needed an auto attack. I would have yeah. thought it had been down, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long fight. Yeah. Uh, rushing into the tier two here. Shadow... Hello? Nightmare? Hello? Just... I don't think he knows what his abilities do. What in oh. the world? Shadow Nightmare oh. predicted that out of the future. Meanwhile, Emilito still gets the kill onto a variety, cleans it up no problem. How did Shadow Nightmare see that coming? I mean, like... How did Shadow I Nightmare see Emilito, that coming? He usually chooses the wrong thing. What's actually funny, in a scrim the other night, Cyclone did the same backflip and called it an Emilito play. The exact <laughs> same thing. You can't write this stuff, folks. <laughs> you just can't write this stuff. I still find that incredible right now. Frosty, I caught out. Last Breath is online. No healing for the Thanatos. He has taken to the sky. Uh -oh. Look at him get very aggressive. The jump is down. Adapting his stun, but a great shield coming out from Gam over the wall. Adapting picks up one onto that Frosty, and now two members of Team Dignitas are sent packing. You know, in our original analysis, we talked about how Bologna does everything. There's one thing she doesn't do, and that's Stone Shield. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very That true. was the hardest bait right there, and they paid for it. Frostyak going down again, and... Ooh. Ow. I'm sorry, what level is Thanatos? 12. 12? Yes. Are, are we sure that's not a 17? Emily, too, gonna, or Frezu, actually going to get knocked up and the kill secured by Ninja Demi. Team Dignitas has the health advantage here, but Epsilon content to keep fighting. So, all right. Very few people will contend the fact that Weaken is the master of Thanatos. So Weaken, lead us through this. You see the Light Blade coming out. I have no idea what that's intended to be. He's level 12, four levels behind the enemy jungler. What does he do? I guess he's going for some auto attack build right now. I personally would have built into a Magi's Magi or something like that and looked to just counter initiate. But I think it's a little too late. Oh. Aegis again. <sighs> and he's out of the Whirlpool. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Shadow Nightmare is probably saying right now. He gets him in the back line, but Variety used everything to get there. If they could follow this up, the beads usage was good. He got his cooldown back quickly, and <laughs> Yamin yeah, did Do not. Do you see how him. amusing it is to watch Weekend? <laughs> well, Geb has a breastplate and an Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even it's know. It's Rapper. He took two weeks off. He I came mean, back. It's hey, guys, awesome. what's the meta? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what happened with Shadow Nightmare. Hey! Shadow Nightmare goes out. No, 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 no. We're talking about Soul Eater now. <laughs> Barn just absolutely toast. It's just a matter of who gets the kill right here. It is going to be adapting with that last breath of damage. We're, no, we're talking about Soul Eater. Br bring the items back. Fire Giant. No, put them away. Fire Giant being started by Team Epsilon right here. Four members deep. And there is not Come much. On. There's an Eagle's Rally that can be used for Team Dignitas here. It has been used. It's down. It's on cooldown. And Epsilon completely turns around. The crits are good enough. Adapting Fire gets the Giant. kill credit for that one. We don't need those. Fire Giant knocks up Fire a couple. Giant. But this will be the kill. And Epsilon, very, very strong 18 minutes in. Owning this game by about 8,000 gold and a Fire Giant buff. Now... As rough as it is to use Young Bay, I don't think Barn has had like the worst series. No. Nope. Uh, despite the fact that he's five levels down, he's actually, and this is not in any means to be you know rude, but I mean he's actually outperforming what I thought he was going to do here. Sure. Uh, going up against Nijadimi in this solo lane. Variety wait, is Dimi? causing so many nope. issues right here, but he's going to be toast. Not quite. Ultimate good enough. Oh, he oh. tapped him. He knows where he's going, and he's running into archers. No. Beautiful we, we should be casters. We're just watching. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely. There, there's nothing really to say about this. I can't actually. He can't go any farther. No, he's gone. Yeah, all right. Go. It's, it's the end of the road. <laughs> it's, sometimes, sometimes you gotta let the game do the show itself. Just, just watch. I. That's a great explanation too. We forgot to cast because we were so interested in what was happening. <laughs> Frostyak taken to the sky. One member is stunned out by the game cataclysm. Frostyak going to look for the aggression to save his teammate. Absolutely not. Silence coming He'll out. Go ahead and land out. And Frezzo. Slow. No, he actually forces it out. Stun Ouch. and yeah. Ooh, wow. Toast. They pick it off inside. They use the ultimate the back though. Line. I mean, I think that's a necessary. Yaman drops the ultimate to secure that kill. It's going to send Frezzo back for thirty seconds. We'll take a look if that is worthy or not. We'll see how badly Yama needs to drop that Isis ultimate when they're sieging. Nah, Mid tower is already gone. This the is fire giant. Phoenix. There's, there's. Uh, we can. Do you see any way that the uh, the Poseidon's going to stop this? No, you just commit right here and get the Phoenix for free. And if they contest, you kill them. It's there's nothing they can do about it. No analysis necessary. Just get things and kill them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's that simple right now. <laughs>
<laughs> Fire Giant ticking very, very well. Shadow Nightmare tries to prevent the aggression by using the ultimate out of his Kraken. Not going to claim any lives, but does stop the flow of Epsilon members into the Beautiful. base. Stunned out by the Cataclysm. Raffer doing a great job of zoning, allowing his team to take out the Firebird, and Melito takes out Frostiac. He's still got that Aegis, too, like they were committing into literally an unkillable target. Uh, and it winds up working out big time for Epsilon. Not only do they find two Phoenixes and the Fire Giant, but their retreat will likely spell a Gold Fury as well. They're trying to find Ooh. variety. Great juking all around, but he is spy-checked. He's called out, stun misses, and will be able to escape. Variety juked all four Spirit Wing Gusts balls. Balls indeed. Circles. Protection. I think I'll just use every ISIS word out there. <laughs> but Variety does every called? single hit from that wing gust. What's the three called? Circle silence. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Circle silence, slow protection steal. That's what it's called. And something else. There's something else <laughs> no, on there. No, it's just it. No, there's, there's another thing. It's a silence, slow protection steal, and it's a circle. It gives, something, it gives like protection to your teammates through funeral rites. It does, which is a protection steal. Yeah, I guess, but it's also an aura. 20 minutes in, folks. Really 12 to 27. <laughs> Read the kills right here. Epsilon, after winning the first game, still looking very dominant. 12,000 and a half gold lead for the red team. Also looking strong in the XP oh, department. That's, that's and really bad. adapting, just really pushing it home. Frostiac again suffers another death. Only level 14 on this Thanatos. But he also applies the poison to Barn, which sends Barn out of the fight completely. So you're looking at a team of carries none of which are in position to carry. Over on the right side, I mean, it's just destruction. Levels of destruction. Nine deaths in total on the Sanatos. Weekend, tell me about the Aussie. Uh, I have, it's not something I would ever do. Um, I, I really, I don't know. Oh, what the got process. him. Toasted Ooh. Variety really not able to get out of anywhere. Adapting, meanwhile, kids, kills Frezzo in their own jungle, in Team Dignitas's own jungle. This is becoming... We're getting to the point where things are no longer winnable. It becomes not about what Dignitas can do right and becomes 100% about what Epsilon has to do wrong. I think you look at Epsilon pushing in with an Isis alt here and taking the last Neith, Phoenix and ending the game, basically. Neith has a... Well, Fire Giant's down. They don't have that, that crutch, right? But they still have a three-man or two-man power play. Raffer's DC'd? Where is he? Oh, he's, he's walking through mid lane. Emelino makes the backflip again one more time. Nope, that was... <laughs> <in> <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, DC or nah, Epsilon will go ahead and pick up the left hand Phoenix. That means all Phoenixes for Team Dignitas are down. All right, so what's the harsher taunt, right? You have the wave after taking the Phoenix and winning the 2v1, or Raffer DCing and them not pausing? <laughs> Probably the DC and not pausing. It was very obvious they did not care that he was gone. He's oh, running yeah. down the lane and they're still forcing Well, they played without him for two weeks. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Very, very true. We see the fire medias go ahead and pour into this base from Team Dignitas. House. And Raffer has made it back. And because he's back, Epsilon is going to start up the other objective. The Gold Fury started and, well, almost finished, folks. Like you can this. see that Fatalis damage come out from these. I like that. Wait, Fatalis? Yeah. That's he's what got I Fatalis said. and Soul Eater. Dude, this is my Nasha build. But this from is 2012. Neath. This is a very curious, this is a very curious build. Um, <laughs> I, I, the, the Soul Eater is one thing. Uh, not my wait, favorite wait, wait, choice. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. Get out of here. I, I just don't understand the Fatalis pickup underneath. I mean, like, he has Aegis. Yeah, he voided the sprint. Okay. So He's they're practicing so their next is. split. So, so the, the Fatalis will actually negatively impact the damage that Neath is able to deal with, but by getting the Aegis instead of the sprint to look out for Shadow Nightmare and, well, almost everybody with the burst damage on the side of Team Dignitas, coupled with the beads, the Fatalis allows Neath to really keep up and stay push it, putting out those basic attacks without worrying about the sprint. Uh, Variety trying to aim strike his teammate. Not exactly how the move works. That's all I had for that. <laughs> Roma and Victor used, but adapting does catch up. Frezzy That's going to be a lot of damage. Way. Beautiful opportunity. No crack and use. There it is right there, waiting for the Frosty X stun. That's going to be great, but just too far behind in the damage department. Stunned Four out. members, five members of Epsilon in Team Dignitas's base. Just doing whatever they can to throw damage out at both the Titan, the players, and the overall game right now. Give it a little bit of a chase. Neath does get the kill. The Titan will eventually fall 2-0. Or uh, Epsilon. So when I think of, of our one of our co-commentators here, when I think of Weaken, the three gods that come to mind are Sir Ket, Thanatos, and Thor. I mean, these are like three of the gods that really spell his play style to me. And you got a chance to cast the game 